Here's Roberts. Good carry from Roberts. Up into the 10 metre area. Connor Jones is the dummy half. Comes to the right hand side and Lacans. Lacans takes the line on. Gets the offload away as well. Back to Connor Jones. That creates the gap because Lacans sucked three of them in and Connor Jones just powers his way past Brad Graham. So we have got a Rovers player with no number on. I don't know if that's Joe Abson. But this guy's got a number, it's Caleb Aikens, and he's done a number on them as well. He's found Connor Jones on his right shoulder. Jones is going to go in for his second try of the game, and Featherston Rovers' second try of the game. 30 metres from the Dewsbury line. Now it's Lacan. Roberts. Roberts powering towards the line. Jones, dummy half. Two minutes to the break. Goes to the left with Bowers. Aikens from the back, oh lovely hands, lovely centre play from Greg Minikin. Finds Gareth Gale on his outside. Gareth Gale, he'll score a lot of tries this season and he'll score a lot if he's playing outside Minikin and Minikin's showing hands like that. Good try. Pre-season for us all, including the commentators and uh, we don't yet have the uh, squad numbers. So it can be a challenge. I do know that's Paul Sykes and I do know that that was Harry Bowes and uh, Gareth Gale that brought him down. Jules remove it to the right hand side of the field. Here's Lewis Carr. Charlie uh, Harris couldn't stop him there. He uh, ducked inside him, was Lewis Carr. And uh, out of the second half, and they've got some uh, defending to do here as well because Jules will start a new set just 30 metres away from the Featherstone Rovers line. The Rovers have three men in the tackle. Last to rise is uh, Hardcastle. But uh, they're all almost over the line again, are the Rams? Charlie Harris doing his best to try and stop the Rams grounding the ball, but they've been able to ground the ball. It's a set restart, though, uh, for the Rams. Who'll bring it to the right-hand side. That's good play from the Rams. And uh, good play again as Restall is on the inside shoulder of uh, Bailey O'Connor. Jones is in at dummy half. Rover's just two metres away. Goes to his right hand side, just a straight drive for Camano towards the post. He's right on the post, can only be half a metre short. Polk's prevented him from scoring probably. Jones goes to Aikens. Nice play, nice play. Rovers are in on that far side. I believe, I think it's uh, the number four, Greg Minikin. Goes to the left to Brad Day. Day spins out of a tackle, good strength from Brad Day, gets over the line, puts the ball down. It's the experienced players of Featherston Rovers doing it again. It looked like Connor Jones was shaped up for a, a play on the right, but Brad Day said, I'll have it. Hazard's back in at dummy half again. Aikens sends it out, ball over the top to Wakoki Koki. He's going for the corner, he's got the ball down, I think, as. Uh, Manoa Wakoki Koki, that was good play on that far side. And the final score here at the Millennium Stadium Featherston Rovers 28, Jewsbury Rams 14.